Hello and welcome Librans. Really weird term, Librans. Anyway, welcome Libra. This is your December 2022 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You're watching Thomas's Tower reading. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. And you can see how fast I'm getting because I want to introduce you to my guest this month, Kaiwa Shaw. And I will leave her contact details in the description box below. So, with no further ado, what we will do here, we will divide the reading into three sections. The overall energy for the months ahead, your emotional core, and then opportunities as they present themselves to you. And we will do this right now. Now remember, Libra, you are governed by Venus, which means you have an extra alignment with the universe. You have what is known as the pentagram of Venus, which means as Venus moves, the way it moves, it draws energy, so to speak, that actually turn into a flower. So, so and because Venus is the month of love, it's really, really important to just realize that um, you, your energy by default is not needy at all. Even when people sort of say that to you, you just know that unless there's harmony in your life, you're not going anywhere. The reason why I'm making this a big point is because you are the seventh sign and you are the seventh house. And seven is the highest number of protection. And guess what? 2023, two and two is four and three is seven, has the number seven. So for the entire next year, the energy of your sign is constant in the entire year. So whatever happens uh, that is supportive, energetically speaking, for all signs will be the most supportive for your very sign Libras. So don't you think for one minute that you're somehow just in there and you don't matter, all that kind of stuff. Don't do that to yourself because the energy is bloody awesome because you just so happen to be the seventh sign. Anyway, let's look at the overall, the overall energy for the months ahead before we then look in the emotional core. Uh, and then finally at opportunities. Here we go. Okay, so the first card that I pulled was um, Law of Attraction, a fantastic manifestation card. So it's quite literally just saying this is your month to manifest everything that you want to gain and achieve in 2023. And um, you can start putting that into um, motion now. Um, it's quite literally just saying everything is on your side. Once you start manifesting it, it will start coming into your life quite quickly. Um, you just need to obviously start thinking about it, feeling it. Not so much living it, but kind of like bringing those feelings to the surface. How you'd feel if you got to that promotion, for example, or if you wanted that new house, or kind of like if you met somebody new. Those feelings, it's just basically saying kind of like live that on a daily basis and those things will come into your life quite quickly. The second card that I got was Innocence. And it's very much a saying that you're, you're harbouring quite a lot of... Um, guilt and anger and quite negativity and you're blaming yourself for quite a lot and it's just a reminder that you are quite a, a gentle innocent soul and it's just basically saying just remember who you are and kind of like try to release those negative thought pattern, patterns those negative feelings ask your guys to come in and help that because they're not doing you any favors unfortunately mm, don't do anyone any favors but primarily it's really having such an effect on you at the moment and it's just a card to say Look, you are such an innocent, pure soul and you don't need to be carrying these feelings around with you. And then finally we got, listen, and this is just a nice card just to say, take some time out and meditate if most. <laughs> just take that little bit of time and process everything that's gone on for the day, for example, or anything that's happened um, for a week or month, for example. Anything you just need to kind of like just take that little bit of time for yourself, quiet your mind, listen, and you guys will come in and they'll kind of like give you answers to any situation or questions that you have. And you just need to, I'm very much getting meditation vibes on this. You need to take some time yeah, out for yeah, yourself, if I'm honest. Thank you so much. So mm -hmm. now listen, right? Really important. <laughs> and also understand that you are Libra. When it comes to shamanic belief if that makes sense right so the idea is that you are that you decide to whom you're being born where and when you decide on the sign you are going to be born in you chose to be libra all planets apart from venus which is your governing planet 
move anti-clockwise, right? When you move anti-clockwise, you take out what you no longer need. When you move clockwise, which is what Venus does, is the only planet in our solar system, you actually put harmony in, which means you are the sign that stays in situation longer than you probably should. And you see sometimes the good in people that absolutely have no shred of decency whatsoever. It's, it's, Libra's, it's Libra's curse and Libra's gift to the world. And when you talked about a pure soul, that makes perfect sense because Librans are a pure soul. You have a rising sign. Every person has a rising sign. And it's called the Ascendant. It's like a lifelong buddy that is always here to help you, but also here to push you to um, look at things. And because he obviously has his work cut out, <laughs> um, he has a helper. That helper is called the Descendant. And the energy of the Descendant always and only sits in Libra. So anything to do with keeping things stable, clusters in your sign, that is what the essence of you is. You want harmony. And when it comes to your emotional core, that's what you're bloody getting. Because you have love, transformation and voyage. Now that's bloody awesome. So when it comes to your emotional core, don't look into, oh, I'm so broken. Who isn't? You understand that what I'm getting is, you know, it, <laughs> it is one thing to, to acknowledge that, that sometimes life can be really bad and, 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 you know, good things happen to, uh, bad things happen to good people, that sort of stuff. It's all pointless. You have love coming in as an energy. Whether or not this is about intimate relationships is an individual thing. I do not see that here. So I don't quite know. The point is you have love as the, en as the incoming energy for your emotions. And love is the highest emotion that we can create. And then you have transformation as the middle energy, which means if you use the love that sits inside you and understand, you know, I can be loving and still tell people to piss off. <laughs> right? I mean, that's what I'm sort of getting. It's like, you know, it's like, it's like, it's like not taking any, anything. Um, you, you transform into not only in what you, in who you really want to be, but who you truly are. The energy here denotes that you live with some sort of trauma, you, you hang on to things, you learn to live with stuff that you have problems releasing. And this is just acknowledging it, because your outgoing card is voyage, which means as you move on in life, when you're on your voyage, some of that trauma will follow you unless and until you decide, I'm going to change a bit of my pattern here and do not see the good in everybody. But your overall energy for your emotional core for the very months of December 2022 is love, which means with regards to what the universe sends you is high energy positivity coming your way. But you need to also claim it. When you think like, oh, I'm not worth it, I don't deserve this, it goes somewhere else, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Really, really important. That's all I got for the um, emotional core. So the good thing is, obviously it's, it's, it's Christmas, you don't want to hang around, hang around being, being half dead. <laughs> If that makes sense, you know, speaking, I don't see you having to do any proper work, if that makes sense. You just have to understand, to realize when you sit down and you go into some sort of sadness and depression, for want of a better word, that may be because you're already burdened. And the universe is saying, well, we're sending you love. We're helping you transform. But it starts with you wanting to be transformed. Always remove yourself. And then put your best friend energetically speaking, into your shoes. And then you ask yourself, would I advise my best friend to come home from work and then the first thing you do after a cuppa is not feeling well? And the answer is very likely, I wouldn't want that for them. So change your pattern. This is all about you having the strengths and the power within to make changes and make them because the voyage here is an interesting depiction. This voyage here is depicted by a whale. So let me remind you of the origin story, the Native American origin story. So shamanism is, a, is, a, is an umbrella term. So there's all these different schools of, of, of shamanism, if that makes sense. And every shamanic tribe on the, in, on the globe or around the globe has one origin story. And the origin story is that we come from the stars. We come from a place called the Pleiades, which is a constellation below Taurus. And um, that's where we're from. And then we came here in a cloud in the shape of a whale. And the whale is our first mother. 
Now, when it comes to your voyage, you have the first mother as the being that journeys with you. And what that means is that as you move forward, a lot of stuff that has happened to you in your early years, your formative years, can also go now because you're now together with the whale. Now, we're humans. We have 75 beats per minute, which means we have a, we have a um, uh, heart rate for one of, the, of 75. Um, and whales have a heart rate of 8. All they do is 8 puffs a minute. That's all they need. It's in the calmness. But 8 can be the sign of obstacles. And you know what the, what, the, what the whale does? It kicks the bloody number eight. It becomes the infinity sign. You have to see life sometimes from the outside. Remove yourself a little and understand, I can tip the eight over. Maybe there aren't any real obstacles. Maybe I just can't see the way around. Push the eight over. The eight is there. It takes one, one tip. And it becomes infinity. So what I'm getting is it's all positive because the voyage here is also sort of a sunset thing, but it's not the sun that is depicted, it's the moon. And the moon is your emotions. So this is all about how do you truly want to feel, how do you truly feel, and the whale is the only mammal on the entire planet that is so deep that it had to grow what is called um, a paralimbic note, which means just to deal with the emotions that the whale can feel, our first mother. It had to grow an extra part of the brain just to deal with the depth of itself. And you spent all these months coming from the Pleiadians to this planet, if that makes sense, in our first mother, the whale. So we are all that deep. We are really governed by our emotions. And if the shit hits the fan, we don't remember how much money we made that month. We remember how we feel. And in your energy, simply because of Libra, you have only energy here where our first mother says, I'm your mother. I will always nurture you. I will always support you. You're not as alone as you feel. And because December can be quite a lonely month, for people, especially with all the Christmas stuff, and if you're a person that doesn't really have a family, or you have a family of bricks, <laughs> and you don't want to see them, that kind of stuff, um, it, it lends itself to loneliness as an energy. Um, and you are so longing for harmony as a, as a sign. And so the, the advice is that you're not alone, you just have to understand it. So the energy here that you have, and you can you, you, you notice I keep going on about it, <laughs> is really deep. And because you are so deep, it might not always be easy to listen to it, if that makes sense. But what the guides are highlighting is you are so deep and it is needed. We have enough shallow people on the third rock of the sun. You're not one of them, right? And you will be fine. Okay? Wow, that was sort of a monologue. Ah, <laughs> Here we go. Good <laughs> and now, Libras, without um, any further ado, I'm going to just shut up. And uh, we're looking at the opportunities for the months of December 2022. And, um, and then we say goodbye to you and wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and all that kind of stuff. Um, here we go. Yeah, so the card that I pulled was the play card. And it's quite literally just um, a card that tells you how to raise your vibration how to kind of like get out that depth that Thomas was talking about and bring all that love into your life. And it's quite literally just saying, just have fun, find joy in the little things and laughter. Laughter and gratitude is the easiest and the best way to lift that energy and bring all that into your life for you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Like I said, um, Kyra's um, information will be in the description box. So please, please, please make use of it. Because I quite like having guests on, <laughs> and um, you know, it just it just yeah, breaks things nice. up, and and um, I like it even more when 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 people then are interested in my guests, so to speak, uh, because we need more healers, and um, we are bringing them here if that makes sense, right? In any case, have a lovely Christmas, right? If you don't celebrate Christmas, not my problem. <laughs> 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 just being an idiot, right? <laughs> Enjoy the festive the festive season and I see you in the new year. Bye bye. <laughs>